happen. One late, one night. Sight. Society. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Monster mash. They're going to graveyard smash. Oh, the flash. He did the mash. He did the graveyard mash. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with day two of Halloween week. I am to the moon. <laughs> happy with this. I love how that moon turned out. I fought with it, as you saw. I had to fast forward some of it because it was crazy, but I think the outcome is awesome. So with that being said, I'm excited. Today, we're going to do some resin. I'll hang her up here. Perfect. So today we're going to do some resin. As I said, when I has not been feeling well, I still purchased, I still received things from my suppliers. So with that being said, I was gifted these lovely, again, I've seen them all over the place. A lot of people have been doing them, but I haven't done them yet. So these are the lollipop, the lollipop, and kind of like the ice cream where they're melting. So I want to thank Let's Resin for that. I'll link that in the description box. And then also today, I'm going to try my new, I purchased this. So this was from myself to myself. I purchased the less resin, or the res, turn it up the right way. It is the Resiners Airless, the bubble remover. And I'm about four months late on this, but you know what guys? It is what it is. I'm gonna try this out today. So you're gonna get a little bit of a Halloween video and an unboxing video. So I won't go into depth with this a lot because I know it's out there. A lot of people have used them and a lot of them have them. So that's kind of cool. So I thought, because today I wanted to put, if you watched my last year's Halloween video, I'll link it somewhere up in the round there. The one where I did the frog with the glow in the dark bones. <laughs> So I still have the glow in the dark bones. I've got the glow in the dark skulls. These are the bones, these are the skulls. I purchased them at Michael's last year. Not sure if they have them in stock this year. So we're gonna put those inside. I have these little bugs. So I thought they would be cool to put on the part that do where this goes on the bottom. So you can have bugs crawling out as it's melting. So that's my thoughts. We're gonna add some glow in the dark pigment from Let's Resin as well. So let's just get into it, my friends. I'm gonna get my batty head off <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a sec. Hello, we are back. I have my um, costume off. We are gonna get into this. I'm gonna do a very, very quick overview of this because again, this has been out for some time. I just thought I'd like to try to use it because I want to use clear um, resin in my lollipop and my popsicle. So with that being said, so I purchased this myself. So this was not, this is not a sponsored video from this. I was wanting to use it. I was wanting to buy like an, um, a gas chamber, whatever you want to call it. But to me, I just didn't have the room to have something bulky sitting around. This is ideal because, you know, we have to have all the room for glitter. Guys, I don't have room for all that other stuff. So <laughs> let's get into this. Very nice. Oh, very velvety. Nice, nice box. All right. Let's just get everything out of here. Get everything out of here and then I'll get my box off of the table. I've already got my little booklet out. Let's just move this up the row. Very cool. Nice, it's compact. I like the idea that it's little because most of the time we're not mixing up huge, huge amounts. You know, like most I ever really mix, I've done 10 or 12 at a time, ounces. So beautiful, love the color. So there's buttons on the top. It's just your basics. 
Here is the release valve. When you go to do this, you want to make sure that is closed. So I'm going to close it right now. It comes with some measuring cups, which is awesome. I'm sorry. And then here's your plug. Now, I know if you're UK, I think you may have to, or Australian, you may have to um, purchase a different plug. But lucky here in Canada, this is... Um, compatible with my hydro which is fine oh my goodness I twisted it the wrong way let me just untwist this my apologies guys best laid plans always go awry especially on Sherry's channel and the quicker I want to work my fingers don't work oh my goodness there we go that is off this is called an unboxing, correct? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I have a, an extension cord here. I'm going to plug her in and we are going to attach it and I'll show you what this does. I need to keep that from falling on the ground. There we go. So you plug that in here, the back, and then I'm not going to turn it on yet, but you hit the button. You hit the AI button once. It is a, f oh, it is a five minute. You hit the AI again, and it's a nine minute. And I'm going to stop that. Why is it? So it just automatically starts to go. So I'm going to turn it off. There's no, oh, there you go. That is an on off button in the center. It helps if I can read. <laughs> So with that, my friends, I'm going to mix up um, five ounces of resin. I don't know how much these actually take. I am planning to embed them with, I'm going to use all of these glow-in-the-dark skulls in here. So it's going to be full of skulls. So I don't need that much resin in there. And the other one, because the bones are long and skinny, I'm going to put the bones in it. So I'm going to off camera, I am going to mix my resin. And as always, please guys, use your PPE. I'm using my respirator. I will be putting my lovely purple gloves on and always work in a well ventilated area. Please, please read all your PPE for all of your um, crafts because it's not just resin that's not very nice to you. So, so anyways, resin of choice today I am using Make sure I got the right ones because I've got two here. So this is the fast curing resin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've got two the, the same, but I've got two different ones. So I'm going to use this today just to see how it works. So I want to unveil it pretty soon. So I'm going to mix up five ounces of that and I will see you back in a minute and we will put it in this arrow chamber. I'll see you in a sec, guys. I am back. I have mixed up this is five ounces of the, like again, the uh, Let's Resin Fast Cure Epoxy. I am going to mix in some of the Let's Resin. Um, holo this is not holographic. This is Glow in the Dark. It comes from their Glow in the Dark kit. There's 12 colors. I'm choosing this green. And I'm just going to be bold. And I'm just going to... Put a little in here and again guys i'm choosing not to wear my mask right now so i can talk to you but when using all of your resin please 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 wear your ppe i want just a little pigment in here i don't want a lot i want it to still be transparent so you can see those glow-in-the-dark bones so that is that from what i'm gathering i've seen and i've watched on videos that it is probably best if you're going to add pigment to add it now before you put it in this beautiful container now it might not be the best angle i have taken a poster put it on the bottom and that way it is good to go i have my beautifully colored machine and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna move you for one second to show you what I'm doing. So I am gonna turn it on. My little button back here is 
closed. Make sure it's closed. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. And I'm just doing five minutes, guys. You see, it's saying five minutes. I'm hoping you can see it. And it's really not that loud. And I'm gonna let you see, hopefully, I'm gonna pause you and bring you around. Just a sec, guys. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna pop this off. Whoop. 30 seconds, that should be good. And I can lift this off. I should be able to. Oh, I guess it looks better. I'm gonna let it sit over here for one second because it is ridged. I'm gonna leave it. There's a couple little spots in there, but it is what it is, my friends. Some more tape. I don't know why that's not. Decanting properly. All right, and here's our other one. I haven't done resin in so long, guys. This is crazy. There we go. Let me just see if I need two hands. Ah, <laughs> I just needed a little bit of muscles, my friends. So there we go. It's pretty much clear. I'm gonna take my, um, well, might as well do the alcohol and get rid of the bubbles on the top. There's a few bubbles on top. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is pour a little in each of these. Oh, it's quite warm. I got to move my butt. Pour in there. And in here. And then I'm going to start embedding some of these. So th these are just the hollow, <laughs> the glow in the dark um, skulls. We're going to put those in, in there. The bones, we're going to put, that's getting really warm. I don't want to the bones we're just going to put in here, standing them up. Get in there. You don't want to push them too much. You don't want to deform the mold either. But you want to make sure they're in there. Oh, there's none even at the bottom. Let's just get pushing them in there. And that's why I figured I wouldn't need as much resin because I'm pouring these in. Put some more skulls in this one. And my fingers are all sticking and this is getting, it's warm, but it's still very pliable. Let's get, I don't want too many, I'm gonna pull that one out because my thoughts are, oh, I have some things I wanna put on the bottom. Let's get some more bones in here. If you remember the frog from last year, the bones really glowed in the dark, which is kind of cool. Why is this, uh, there, probably should have poured there. And I'm just going to pour some more in here. And our skulls. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything is sticking to me. <laughs> Everything is sticking to me. I want more of those skulls in there if they're going to fit in. There, I think that is good. I'm going to have to change gloves, guys, because these, I don't know what's up with that. Everything is sticking. And they're going to move fast. So I've got these worms and such and spiders. So I thought I would put those on the bottom. And of course, my hands are all sweaty. So I thought, let's put this creepy looking thing. We're going to put him upside down in here. We're going to put this scorpion guy. No, we're going to put this spider guy. Nope, that's going to stand up. Where is that little... There it is. I'm opening up this. And we're going to get this in there. We've got... An ant. Let's push the ant in. Awesomeness. And then we're going to put... Oh, um, a whole bunch of these plastic spiders. Or are these flies? We'll find out. Oh, they're bugs anyway, so that's good. I'm going to put them the right way. So you want them upside down. Oops, the right way, upside down. Upside down. I'm gonna pour some resin in here. And it cured all my lifting. Well guys, we're gonna let this go. I'll fill this all in right now and I will mix up some more resin. I'm not gonna use the curing machine. I am just gonna mix up a little more. The story of Sherry's life. Welcome back, eh? What these, which way are they going? Oh, they both look the same. So I want them with the, that way. So we'll put all these down and then I'll mix more resin. That doesn't help when you're using the four hour curing resin. Well, that's a shame. A shame. Oh, let me, yeah. I'm gonna pour resin in here first, just so there's a layer underneath and these guys aren't gonna be popping out. Never thought of that one. Okay guys, I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna mix up. I'm only gonna do maybe two more ounces because it's just basically the little spots and I'll be right back guys. So I've mixed up another 60 milliliters. I am adding some more of the pigment, the glow in the dark pigment. There we go. I can't believe. I think because it being a fast curing resin and putting it in that machine might not be the best idea. I'm having a <laughs> I'm having a time today because I picked the smallest cup I could get. Everything is mixing out and over on me. All right. So that is mixed in. Now I'm going to pour in here again. A very thin little layer. Oh, it looks like the pigment's not mixed in quite well. And of course I'm introducing bubbles, but that is what it is. It is what it is. 
I just want a little bit down so that when I do put these whatever bugs they are called um, on there that they are not going to be all right I'm using these old ones just to put them in there so I'm not using any of my good ones and hopefully I didn't ruin it want these in there and there's one bubble in there it's probably in the old resin. Let's get in here. Best laid plans, eh guys? I don't know. And we'll put one in this guy here. Because he looks empty. Right about there. We'll top it up. And let's get some on this guy. Oh, come on, fingers. Oh, my hands are still bad, guys. I'm waiting. I don't know. My dexterity is almost gone, I tell ya. And I'm gonna pour a little more, if I can find them. Here we go here, whoa! More than I wanted, but it'll do the job. I'm just going to try and get the ones that are in resin because there we go get him underneath that leg and probably get one more in here under that leg maybe there we go and there we go all right, we'll top him up. And hopefully, I didn't ruin it. That guy is pretty good. Let me just put a little more on this one. I don't want to overflow it. There we go. Now, I'm so sticky. I'm gonna use my 99% alcohol. You can use a, a small torch, guys, but new molds, I don't wanna ruin them. And they look so cool. So now I'm gonna try and dip, pushing these guys in. Look at that, her bone coming out. I'm going to keep coming down periodically and try to keep pushing them down. And I'm going to another squirt because each time I create bubbles. So with that, my friends, it says this, this is a four hour demolding. So hopefully I'll be back in four hours and we will see what we have. And hopefully I didn't ruin it. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, I turned my lights off, and oh my goodness, look at that glow. Those are the bones. I think it's adorable. And there is the skulls. It's hard to tell. I think that's adorable. Well, 
I'm gonna take a couple of close-ups here, guys, and I'll be right back. Here we go, guys. I think these turned out so cute. The skulls, you can see the spiders. Now, the only thing I found is you didn't see the big bug. <laughs> But that's all right. I think it's still adorable. And then the other, the other one. Look at. I think it's cool. All those bugs on there. There they are, glow in the dark. Those glow in the dark are pretty sweet. That's cool. That's funny because you can see the black in behind where the, the bones aren't there. Perfect. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed week two of, not week two, but day two of Halloween week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share if you liked it. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help me out a lot. And with that, my beautiful people, I'll see you in the next one, day three of Halloween week. Love you guys. Bye.